Ah, all right. Hello. <laughs> Didn't see you there. How you doing? Been a while. Yeah, I'm still sick, by the way. It's been it's been almost a full month. <clears throat> my my throat is still in pain, but I'm gonna make a video right now. Let me actually adjust my chair. There we go. We're playing Smolder in the mid lane. I think I think this little dragon right now is very strong. Possibly the strongest champion in the game, judging by scaling. Uh, maybe maybe second strongest, depending on whether or not you believe Aurelion Soul to be stronger. And or maybe hmm, let's see what's what's another champion that has Omega strong scaling and literally nobody can kill it. <coughs> I'm trying to think of it. I mean Senna is strong, but I feel like Senna needs way too much time to get going, and she's usually played on support, and she doesn't get gold even as ADC. Well, she gets gold, but not much. It's very hard to CS with Senna, that's what I'm saying. So, Smolder. I've been practicing Smolder off-screen. It's a She-Dragon, by the way. If you're wondering, so if, if I'm gonna say her, I mean Smolder, because it's a She. It's a female dragon, okay. Just wanna point that out. So, I've been practicing Smolder on a separate account. And, uh... Let's just say we're playing into Annie, okay? Let's just say this dragon is very strong on mid lane and top lane specifically. Mid and top, yeah. You can see why, that's an Annie. That's a point and click stun, by the way. And I'm running Ghost Flash. We will be W maxing. The, this is on patch 14.4 after Smolder adjustments. Uh, if you're wondering what those adjustments are, well, just read patch notes, because I forgot. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, though. This is why we are playing this build, by the way. Uh, if you're wondering the scalings, it's 25% bonus AD, 20 bonus AP. But that's only on the first initial impact. On the explosion, it's 80% AP, which is what I'm going to be abusing. Okay? I believe Smolder is way better on mid and top than she was ever meant to be on bot lane because she's literally not an AD carry, okay? She's a mage type AD carry, which means very bad on bot lane. She's kind of like Corky in, in a way, okay? She's basically got Corky missiles on her Q, okay? Now, if you're wondering what her Q does, 25 stacks, 125 stacks and 225 stacks is all you gotta remember, okay? Uh, your 25 is basically your AoE, your 125 is your explosion that is behind your first explosion, which is a secondary AoE behind your first one, which helps with both clearing and uh, setting up for executes, which are on your third, uh, on your third, uh, let's say, evolvement or on your Q, okay, which happens at 235 stacks, and you do true damage. Now this true damage scales. This is why this champion is the most broken champion in the game if you actually know how to play it, okay? This burn damage scales of your total stacks, okay? This goes to crazy amounts, and I've had it up to 10% max HP true damage, 10%... 10% execute. Do you understand how busted that is? A 10% health... Uh, uh, yeah. 10% health execute. Do you, do you know how broken that is? If I recall, um, Cole is 5% or 6 or something like that. Yeah, this is literally like having two calls on top of each other stacked. You do not buy, uh, not call, uh, execute, uh, collector, there we go. I got gagged. <laughs> yeah. So, judging by how I played right now, you can see how where this is going. Uh, I am literally on gankable because of my E, because of my flash and my ghost. I'm gonna show you guys the runes again, okay? We got first strike. This also heals, by the way. They were fighting here. Boom. This is why you W max, so you can snipe from long range. Just make sure you hit. It's very hard to miss, by the way. 
If you're missing this, especially out of Fog of War, you're bad at the game. I'm sorry, but you are. You, this is very hard to miss, okay? Unless they have a ward on you and know this is coming, this is very hard to miss. And if you're playing into melee champions, <clears throat> why Smolder is very strong on top lane, by the way, you can hit this 100% of the time, okay? And with your flap, 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 <laughs> flap, 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 two flaps were not enough. They, need, they needed a third there. Uh, if, you, if you put this in, then uh, you're literally unkankable, unkillable, unstunnable. Uh, well, I mean, you get stunned, but you will never die, especially if you eat the stun before you flap. Which is, by the way, um, a reason why Smolder is a counter to Yorick. <laughs> yeah, uh, did you know, fun fact, Yorick is one of the strongest champions in the game right now, and um, I have been spamming uh, Yorick on my other account, which is apparently doing way better than this one. This account is currently, like, cursed or something, I'm trying to get it out of gold, it's impossible, literally, all the time, literally all the time my teammates are just literally uncarryable. So, I'm gonna start Smolder abusing on this one, because I have no choice. I did not want to start Smolder abusing, because I hate playing with super strong champions like this one. Like, just, just absurdly strong. Uther is strong, but this is not this strong, okay? And do your heart's counterplay. This one has no counterplay unless you kill it before it kills you. Especially with those executes. Now, you might be wondering, um, Bajerlio, your stacks, your stack count is kinda low. Why is that? Well, I'm not focusing on stacks. I'm focused on CS and on kills. And on pushing the I'm playing this like a mid laner, okay? I'm not playing just for the stacks. I'm not playing like an A-soul. I'm playing like an A-hole. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Excuse the coughing. Um, I get flashed on. She's trying. It didn't happen. Smolder. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do have a lot of sustain, and um, this is my build. So, here's what you do, okay? You Doran Blade start because he's literally the best item you can get on Smolder. Uh, you could argue that uh, Doran Ring is. Okay, it's not. Okay, you you want Doran Blade because this is the stronger item. This is the strongest Doran start item. Okay, I missed there, but it's fine. Then you go tier. Okay, tier is your first buy, first back buy. If you get lucky and have enough gold, you buy a Dark Seal. Do not get uh, boots because, well, usually you would want to run footwear so you don't have to buy boots. If you don't run footwear, um... What are you doing? You're one of those champions that just wants free gold. Get the free gold, okay? And then get cold fields. Why? I'm playing mid lane, I'm going AP, and I'm buying cold fields. Hmm. Yeah, it's called Muramana, suckers. We're going mixed. This is not an AP build, this is not an AD build. This is a mixed build with a couple tanks, uh, tank items uh, sprinkled in there. And, uh, yeah, I got some spice in this build, okay? I got some spice, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to actually play Smolder. So, you W max, you Q max second, no, do not max E, this is bad, okay? This is bad. A lot of people always say max E second, no, this is bad. Sure, your cooldown goes down, but you know what else helps take down your cooldown? Ability haste. Which is why we are playing with items that give us ability haste. So, why are you maxing this when this is literally no damage? All you get is, well, lower cooldown, basically. Do you care for that? It's like Ezreal, but at least Ezreal's Arcane Shift does actual damage. Okay? This is bad. Do not max this second. This is very bad. This is the worst ability in Smolder's kit. Do not max this second. Stop. I see a lot of people maxing this second. Uh, a lot of high elo players... You don't know what you're doing. Stop. You're not playing Smolder properly. Okay? Stop. I just need... Do I really need to get my ass to hire ELO so people actually fucking listen to me for once? Stop. Stop playing uh, Smolder wrong. This is how you play Smolder. You are very aggressive on mid lane. You are very aggressive on top lane. Stop playing it bot. This is not an AD carry like Riot says. 
She is a mid laner slash top laner. 100%. This is not an AD carry. People need to stop playing her bot. She's very bad bot. Vayne can abuse you. Ash can abuse you. Ezreal just wrecks you. Lucian destroys you. Misfortune ruins your HP bar. Support will kill you. Why would you play this on bot lane, bro? Junglers abuse you. Just stop. The lane's also longer. I, I don't know why I stopped here, by the way. I think... Yeah, I pressed to go forward and it just didn't happen. For some reason, I stopped. Anyway, I think my E bugged out on the Nexus and that's why I stopped. I, I just didn't move at all. <laughs> anyway, uh, Boots, after you finish Muramana. Manamune, actually. And they, they sent Yorick, okay? Now, you are actually very strong into Yorick because your Q is an auto-attack reset and your W and Q... Once your Q is stacked, just destroys the ghouls in AoE. Yes, Smolder is probably the only champions that can AoE clear Yorick's ghouls, which is why I believe Sol uh, Smolder to be literally the strongest champion in the game, because Yorick's broken right now, okay? Yorick is broken and a lot of people do not play it, and uh, he is very abusable, absurdly abusable. The only time you cannot carry the game is if your teammates are absolute garbage. Which, uh... I have had two of those matches yesterday, even though my Yorick was 90% win rate in 11 matches. Uh, two of those matches were literally uncarryable. Like, if your players are literally bots... You are, you are carrying. There, there's just nothing they can do to stop you, okay? Yorick is just that good. He's bro. He's been, been he's been broken since release back in season one. But I don't know, bro. He can solo Baron nowadays. He, he can just send Maiden down the lane, just buy Profane Hydra or Titanic, and just solo clear another lane. You can literally push two lanes at the same time. Like imagine splitting. Uh, this is a, the perfect split champion. You push uh, opposite lanes at the same time with a single champion. Look at this, by the way. I'm 5-0. What, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? That's an any, bro. That is supposed to kill me in lane. But if you're W maxing and you're Q maxing, you clear the wave so fast. She has to spend abilities just to... Yeah, I, I, yeah that thing bugs out on, on Nexus for some reason. I don't know. It should work like Kane, where if you're inside, you should be taken to the other side, but for some reason it doesn't. I'm assuming they coded it not that way, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, kill Maiden, always kill Maiden. If you can't kill uh, the Yorick, kill the Maiden. Always kill the Maiden, okay? It's 50 gold and you literally destroy all his map pressure. Maiden is the reason why Yorick is busted. Uh... Spoiler alert, a good Yorick player will know how to use Profane Hydra to stack ghouls on lane. And uh, use that pressure to still put pressure without, without the Maiden. Uh, I, I tried here, but then I spotted Brand. Yeah, we are going Leandri's secondary, okay? Unfortunately, I'm gonna end up dying soon to Brand. But, yeah. Bear in mind, my Jax was uh, losing to ganks. So, they, they literally cannot kill me so far. Okay? I'm thinking I'm dying here to Yorick. Yeah, I died to Yorick here. But look at that damage, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, you can see where this is going, okay? I have only a Manamune. This is not even a Muramana yet, okay? Stop buying Trinity Force, by the way. Oh my god, I, even if you're bot lane, bro, stop buying Trinity Force. Oh my god. If you're on bot lane, you want items that help you, not items that are stalling you. You want a uh, Essence Reaver. You want... Uh, let me see. Also, I, I really believe just, just don't play Smolder bot. It's really bad. She's really bad on bot lane, okay? Because of the small range. Her Q is too short range. Your your basic attack is way too short range. Any, anything can just kill you on bot lane. 
the same cannot be said about mid and the top. Mid is abusable, especially because it's a shorter lane, way shorter lane. Top lane, well, you can just abuse the bushes, and uh, unless there's a jungler that actually camps top, you will not die. And if you are playing for stacks on top, which you should be doing, then you will be constantly chipping away at the enemy melee champion, okay? With your Q, your basics, and your Ws, and you will literally just perma stack on them, which is what I'm doing when I'm playing this top. You gain stacks by hitting abilities on enemy champions, so if you can't get stacks on minions, do that instead. <laughs> I, I tried here, but I died, because Yorick flashed, and uh, Karma Shield saved his butt, <laughs> and then I got rooted under Maiden. <laughs> And I was getting destroyed by the ghouls and the, the cannon, so I died, but yeah. Don't mind, don't mind, uh, this game is gonna look losable a lot of the time, okay? This game is literally gonna be one of those games where I'm gonna have to pull my hard carry pants out of the trash bin and just just do the work, okay? Just do the work, you're, you're gonna see. Now, Yorick's here, still pushing, but then they got this nonsense going down on bot lane. Uh, my Jax? He did. Uh, I'm thinking going bot lane, but then I notice mid, Karma. And I know Yorick backed, because I don't see him anymore. People just don't fake in this silo, bro. Uh, man, I wish my, my teammates were in garbage all the damn time, so I could actually climb out of gold. Uh, it started to be the same in Platinum on the other account that I just got the Plat, by the way. This is, I don't know, Riot said they fixed matchmaking, but it's currently the most horrible matchmaking I've ever seen. Uh, including Season 1. This is literally the worst season I've had so far. Since Season 1 uh, of Ranked. I've never seen matchmaking as bad as this in almost any game. Which is why I'm literally considering playing Dota more. Uh, I'm playing Doom right now. And I I may just do a Doom video. Because I'm not into ranked just yet. Because I need 100 uh, hours. Okay. I need 100 in-game hours. Which I do not have just yet. I don't know what this Ash is doing. But yeah. I am smaller. I will destroy your HP bar. Especially with this build. Okay. We have Leandris. People underestimate the damage of W, R, and Q. This Q does a lot of damage. Look at those uh, AP scalings, by the way. So if you hit this in the center, that's 130%. And you also get 143 on bonus AD, which is why we are going Muramana, okay? You want the Muramana in the build. You want Muramana in almost any build on Smolder, in my opinion. But specifically in AP builds, you want the Muramana. Yeah, remember how I said just kill the Maiden? It's 350 gold. That's a cannon right there. Almost. That is almost a cannon right there. Yeah, just use your E to engage if you know you're unkillable. Just, just... Usually don't use your E to engage though, but... Do that if you know your opponent's abilities are on cooldown. Now I have two items. This 15 ability haste. This 15 ability haste. Um, I think, yeah, we have this, but this is not actually helping us. Okay. So we got 30 ability haste right now. Okay. 1846. I I'm not going to max this. Uh, like, yeah, you know, you max this late. So it doesn't matter. The idea is you play safe in lane. You don't have to max this. You max your damage and you're... God. <laughs> okay. Now I see this here and I'm trying to go on them, but Annie just... She just had to walk up. <sighs> Gathering Storm is a good one. If, if you know your games are going late game, just play Gathering Storm. And nowadays, all games are going late game for some reason. 
Mostly because people just don't know how to play the game and don't know how to close the game. Yeah, Ash is dying. And Brand's dying. Oh, actually, no. Brand gets away because of slow. Uh, Brand has Rylize. Guys going Crypto Bloom, which is gonna be a pain. I'm gonna die to Brand a couple times, so... Yeah. Now, you might notice I am doing some weird stuff here. Another Haunting Guy is a Sheen. Well, first of all, Haunting Guys is just a really strong item, especially if you are close to getting your 225 stack. Okay? Because this burns over 3 seeconds, which means um, <clears throat> 3 second burn on this, and uh, this is literally 6% stacked. It's literally 6% stacked, okay? And that's a 12% stack on two items, 12% damage stack, okay? And then you got the burn, which is doing a lot of damage, then you got the, bur the Leandri burn, okay? And you go uh, Rift Maker for the extra damage stack. So your burn is gonna burn like hell. Which is why I just love this build, bro. This is good into tanks, it's good into squishies, because you execute faster. You don't really have to be there, because you just... You W first, and then you Q when they're low. And that's how you execute them. Okay? You W first... I'm gonna die here to Bradley Andres. Yes. He got Crypto Bloom too, so that's a lot more damage. Yeah, just Brand doing Brand stuff. Brand hard carrying the team. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um... Yeah, you're wondering what is this? Why did I not buy a Sheen item early game? Or well, first of all, it's Annie, and I was W maxing, which means you do not need a Sheen item. Okay, if you are W maxing playing on mid lane or on top lane, uh, uh actually on top, buy the Sheen item early. On mid lane, however, do not buy the Sheen item early. It's bad. It's very, very bad. Do not buy it early. You're you're not gonna be maxing Q on mid lane. That's you're gonna be outranged by most champions in the game, okay? By most ranged champions, anyway. So, what is this item gonna be turning into? What is this Pokemon item we got? This imposter. You'll see soon enough. I, I did say I got some spice, okay? And it's some spice that works very good with Smolder's kit. Very good. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm making this a core build. Uh, on top lane, that item is even better. If you're getting that as a third item, just get Sheen early and don't finish the item. <laughs> you're gonna see what item I'm going when I'm actually buying it though. You'll see. I'm buying that after, after I finish Rift Maker. I tried here, but I wasn't in range and is Yorick and the the stacking on top of Yorick is killing me, bro. Yeah, I really had to pull my carry pants on this game. I died to Brand here. Yeah, Brand is. I tried the reverse fast heal, but it didn't. It didn't help, bro. It's a Brand. And then Annie showed up too with the Luden stack. She's max Q W already, cause level thirteen. Yeah, it hurts. Okay, and they they have. Double Rylize, Jesus. Uh, Rylize is a good item, by the way, on Spolder as well. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna let you know a little secret. Um, as good as Rylize is, so is Iceborne Gauntlet, which is what I'm gonna be buying. Okay? So, the, the idea is you hit the Q, and you apply the slow field, okay? And the slow field is very good. It's just like a Rylize, but with armor, okay? And then you also get some extra damage on your, your Q and your... Actually, only your Q, because your Q applies on hit effect. I think. I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure this applies on hit effect. Let me actually check again. Yeah, it does. Okay. I had to check again. <laughs> I've played quite a couple of matches smolder already, and uh, I I forgot. This Ash did a weirdo and flashed into the wall. I did not know that, but 
Uh, I mean, you catch that anyway, because you have your E. Or, yeah, I would have just ulted after her. But if I don't ult there, then I just chase here and they die anyway. Yeah. Smolder. Um, think of Smolder as... Let's see. What is a good champion you can, you can, uh, can compare Smolder to? Let me, I need to think hard on this one, because it's kind of a unique champion in a way. It's, it's a combination between Corky... Um, let's see. Uh, Corky? Ari? And... Uh, I want to say Syndra, but not really, because you don't have that kind of damage. You got no CC, but... Your W is basically the Syndra push, only it doesn't push as it slows. And it's kind of like a Syndra push combined with REQ. So it only goes one way. And it doesn't push. Anyway, uh, yeah, we go on this. You always wanna, wanna ult first, especially if you got Leandris finished, okay? And yeah, just heal your teammates, I'm pretty sure it heals teammates. Uh, no, it doesn't heal teammates. Anyway, <laughs> my bad, my bad, but it does do damage, okay? It does do damage, and it's a lot of damage. It is a lot. It's a lot of that. That's a lot of damage, okay? And it's AoE. That's... It's 700 even if you do not hit in the middle. Why would you not use this? Why, why would you not do use this? Just use this early into the fight. Damage them. Slow them if they're in the center, damage them even more. And then you just W and you Q to execute. That's how you play Smolder. Yeah, this build slowly coming together. And uh, my team is finally starting to stack on Yorick. And they're only doing that because we are strong enough to cover, bro. I'm strong enough to one-shot the wave, I'm strong enough to roam. I'm strong enough to not give a hell. About anybody. <laughs> Boom. You did. You know how I know? Because she comes back. <laughs> yeah, and he, she gets executed as well. Boom. This is why Leandris and the Rift Maker. Okay. This is 10% extra damage. This is 6% extra damage. Then you put the burn on top. And then you put this on top. Your burn suddenly does a little bit of physical. Your burn does a lot of magic, uh, max health magic damage, percentage. And then your burn is suddenly amplified, but not, by not, uh, 10, but 6, but it's not 12, because it's 16, you know what I mean? Yeah, accidental rhyme there. <laughs> uh, I haven't done a video in a while, and I'm a little bit excited to actually post for once. Alright, yeah, so just take objectives while you can. I will always do this one if it's free, because Baron, and they got a Yorick, and look at the Yorick build, by the way, Yorick only needs two items to solo Baron with the Maiden and the Ghouls, so if he summons Maiden and Ghouls, all of them, into Baron pit, he will just shred Baron on two items, all you need is Profade and the uh, Cyrilda, Th these two items, nothing else. You can do that as early as burn, Baron spawns, if you are on two items. You don't need any kills, just get CS, just get plates, get the items, solo the, the Baron. I've done so, mar so many solo Baron calls, you have no idea. Yorick's just broken. I don't know why people just don't, don't play Yorick. Remember I said Iceborne? Yo. Yeah. Slow field. Slow field also helps with the ghouls. Ghouls are... Two shot by your Q, by the way. Yeah. Your Q, two shots ghouls. Why? Because it also burns with the Andres. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a this is a Yorick counter. This is a basically an all champion counter. This is currently what I feel like is the strongest champion in the game and is heavily underestimated by everybody. Yeah. Smolder. The new babe on the league. <laughs> I know she doesn't look it, but yeah. Wait, is this Smolder like, like a thousand years old or something? 
Let me let me actually check. How old is Smolder in League lore? I am curious. They say it's a child. Well, it's a dragon child, but do they say how old Smolder is? Because uh, if I remember the lore, let's see. Uh, born earlier than 977 AN. I don't know what AN means, but uh, League of Legends fandom says Smolder is at least 20 years old. So you're good. <laughs> you're good playing that one, okay? Yeah, alright. Um, we're playing into this brand and this any disgusting combo with the, the Malignant's Karma. So we have to get some magic resist. We get a Spectre Cowl. You would think, um, but Zerlio, doesn't your champion benefit more from damage? Uh, no. Do you wanna know why? Do you wanna know why? How will you benefit more from more damage if you die? Like, more damage is not gonna help. You're gonna get out, what? A single rotation and then you're dead? But what if you're not dead and you get out multiple rotations? Isn't that more damage? Yes, it's way more damage, actually. <laughs> so, in this situation where their brand is fed, Giga fed, actually, their Annie is strong, and that's literally all you gotta deal with. Also, Yorick does magic damage, because if you read, it's 3% Max health, magic damage when uh, the Maiden hits and uh, Yorick attacks the same target. And then this does 15% current health, magic damage as well. Uh, you get a Kaerich Rukern, okay. Yeah, Yorick can't do much to Smolder. But I have to solo hold here with... Uh, yeah, and then they just die because they melt. Can you read this real quick? And tell me how this... This ability is balanced on this low range of a champion. This is basically another ability, okay? This is basically a full... Uh, a f almost a full call. This is a, a sheen right there. That's more than a shield in gold, actually. It's, sheen is 900. Okay? This is your sheen right there. First strike. And you will only be doing more damage and be getting more gold as the game progresses. You will be getting full build before almost anybody else. If you get a shutdown like that, hot. Damn! 664. That's a shield, by the way. Magic damage shield. This is why we were stacking all these HP items. So we can get this. Now you would argue... Leandris is better. Well, um, uh, Rylize is better. Well, uh, yeah. But at the same time, I wanted some armor, because they do have an Ash with Bork, and they do have a Yorick. Which kinda hurts, especially when the ghouls come into play. But since he only has this one item, which hurts, by the way, because they kinda changed how Lethality works. Lethality is basically armor penetration now. Okay, you know, a lot of people do not know, but Lethality is basically armor penetration, which means you don't need more than like two items. But if you go full Lethality or something, you're doing close to true damage. <laughs> Late game. Which is why Assassins are so mega strong right now. If you know how to play them. Uh, Ash gets caught out. Uh, I don't know what this Ash is doing, but this is usually the Ash that's on my team. This is usually the player that's on my team every single match. <coughs> Anyway, yeah, she was playing into Senna and Velkos, and this Velkos was playing the bot role, which means the hell, the Velkos was the, the carry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making sure we zone that I noticed these two. Now, Velkos kind of holds top, but somebody gotta hold this. All this nonsense, because Yorick. So we end up having to back. I end up having to stack, I'm 320 stacks. Now if you read this, 9%, oh my god, this hurts me. They're gonna have to nerf this, I'm sorry, they they just adjusted, but they're gonna have to nerf this, and they're gonna have to nerf this hard. The way you nerf this is you cap it at like 8%, okay? Just do not allow more than 8% total health, uh, 
execution scaling. This is broken, bro. Like, the, the longer it goes into the game, the broken this champion is gonna be. It's it's to the point where Asol is gonna be little compared, compared to this. Okay? Well, actually, I think in a 1v1 fight, Aurelio Soul actually wins. Because his gear damage is absurd. But, yeah. I actually believe Smolder to be the stronger one. Question mark? Ah, it's close, it's close. You could argue Asol is actually way stronger, in fact. Just because he has some CC in his kit and some better abilities. <laughs> but, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys like this build. I'm go back and abuse this. I'll see you in the next video. This is over. Later. This is basically how you play Smolder, by the way, so stop playing it wrong.